And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. And turn, turn this primary from a campaign that's about negative attacks into one about what we're for. Because we cannot get reelect. We cannot win this reelection. Excuse me. We can only reelect Donald Trump. There's a lot of really talented people we have out there. Kamala Harris, you got Cory Booker, you got, you got the, you know, the former mayor of Massachusetts. You got a lot of talented people. A man I'm proud to call my friend, a man who will be the next president of the United States, Barack America. What people drastically underestimate is the impact on the mental health of people who now everything is complicated. Not only is the healthcare piece, but people don't have a job. People don't have anywhere to go. They don't know what they're going to do. And a lot of people you have unnecessarily. Now we have over 120 million dead from COVID. Look, tomorrow's Superstar Tuesday, and I want to thank you all. Science over fiction. We choose truth over facts. And so, folks, I watched what happened when the kids from Parkland marched up to, and I, 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 I met with them, and then they went off to up on the hill when I was vice president. They went off the hill to go into those neighborhoods. All those congressmen were like, no, I'm not here. I'm not here. I, I don't, don't tell them I'm around. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm part of that, that Obama coalition. I come out of the black community in terms of my support. If you notice, I have more people supporting me in the black community that have announced for me because they know me. They know who I am. Three former chairs of the Black Caucus, the only African-American woman that ever been elected to the United States Senate. A whole range of people. No, my point no, is not true. true. The other that's one is true. here. <laughs> that's, 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 I said the first. Well, yesterday, yesterday you said you accepted Bernie's apology, and now you're attacking him. Why are you doing that? Why wasn't his apology enough, Mr. Vice President? Why, why attack Sanders? Why, 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 you're getting nervous, man. Calm down. I learned a lot, and I learned that uh, it makes a difference. This was the diving board area, and I was one of the guards, and there were a lot of, there was a three-meter board. And you fell off sideways, you landed on the damp, uh, the darn cement over there. And Corn Pop was a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. And I did. Yeah, he, and back in those days, you show how things have changed. And you want to check my shape on, let's do push-ups together here, man. Let's do, let's run. Let's do whatever you want to do. Let's take a nice pizza. Number one. Number two. Number two. Uh, look, fat, look, here's the deal. Here's the deal. It looks Go to Joe 30330 and help me in this fight. Thank you very much. Where I come from, you don't get far unless you ask. My name is Joe Biden. I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. Look me over. If you like what you see, help out. If not, vote for the other by. It's a good question. Number one, I was a Democratic caucus. You ever been to a caucus? No, you haven't. You're a lying dog-faced pony soldier. You said you were, but you're, you're, now you got to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you. Governor Mike DeWine in Ohio, Governor Larry Hogan in Maryland, Governor Charlie Parker in Massachusetts, Gavin Newsom in California, Jay Inslee in Washington, hard hit. I'm going to be, going to be Joe Biden. 150 million people have been killed since 2007 when Bernie voted to exempt the gun manufacturers from liability. It's not that they don't want to help. They don't want, they don't know quite what to do. Play the radio, make sure the television, the, excuse me, make sure you have the record player on at night, the, the, the phone, make sure the kids hear work. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. It would put, it would put 720 million back, million women back in the workforce. It would increase the GDP to sound like a wonk here by about eight tenths of one percent. When Bobby Kennedy and Dr. King had been assassinated in, in the 70s. My name's Joe Biden. I'm running for, in this case, running for president of the United States. Look me over.
If you like what you see, help out. If not, vote for the other person. We already have a nigger mayor. We don't need any more nigger big shots. Because think of what's been adopted. Milton Friedman's notion that the only obligation... But that all changed with our Republican friends in the late 80s when they adopted Milton Friedman's notion that the only obligation... We find ourselves in a position where you're in a, you're in a circumstance where we've adopted Milton Friedman, Friedman's notion, the conservative economist. So, like, for example, uh, I actually thought in my head when I walked out here, I mean, do I... I know, it's We're friends. It's uh, tricky. No, but, but I should be able to read better. But I have never in my life done anything in approaching a woman that has been, other than trying to bring salt. I'm used to, like, one of your staff was... I'm used to, I think it's really important we listen. Whether I sit down next to somebody and it's not invited to be to, to sit down so that's my responsibility i have to be more more aware and it's totally legitimate but I, okay but anyway i i think it's legitimate and i think it is uh and to to and to, to anyone i but i don't think anyone's ever said but they have uh, also said we'd like an apology well look i, I i'm i'm really sorry if they Nancy Pelosi wants you to say, I'm sorry that I invaded your space. Sorry I invaded your space. I mean, I, I, and I, I'm sorry this happened. I just spoke at, a, at Dartmouth on health care at the medical school. Or not, I guess I wasn't actually on the campus, but the people from the medical school were at the... I, I want to be clear. I'm not going nuts. I'm not sure whether it was the medical school or where the hell I spoke, but it was on the campus. Christian of Keene. I'm back. I've been here a number of times. Last time was, I think, uh, all the way back in 2014, but I've been here before that. I love this place. I love, look, what's not to like about Vermont in terms of the beauty of it? And what a neat town. What a, I mean, this is sort of a scenic, beautiful town. The mayor's been a good guy, and they've got, everybody's been really friendly. I like because they invaded another country and annexed a significant portion of it called Crimea. Right. He's saying that it was President my boss is his fault. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the, go, you know the, you know the thing. I took on uh, Putin in terms of uh, Iraq. I mean, excuse me, in terms of uh, uh, um, what was going on in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. My long friend, time friend, and she's a friend, she's been my friend in and out of public life is... President Biden, if elected, if elected, you would turn 82 at the end of your first term. You'd be the oldest president in American history. Are like you Winston willing? Churchill. Are you willing to commit American history? Oh, American history. Yes. Are, are you? I was joking. That was a oh, joke. Okay. You had people like Margaret. Tha oh, excuse me. You had p p people like the, the former chairman and leader of the party in in Germany. You had Angela Merkel stand up and say how terrible it was. A lifelong Democrat. A proud Democrat. Biden, Obama, I know I'm called middle class Joe. It's not meant as a compliment. Means I'm not sophisticated. <laughs> Mr. Vice President, thank you. Thanks for your time. Please come back in less than 13 years, sir. All right, Chuck. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. Uh, it's Chris, I mean, but Chris, anyway. I just did Chris. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I just did Chuck. I tell you what, man, these are back to back. Anyway. No, it's I don't okay. Know how you do it early in the morning. They don't call Super Tuesday for nothing. By the way, this is my little sister, Valerie, and I'm Jill's husband. Oh, no, this is the, oh, you switched on me. This is my wife. This is my sister. They switched on me. Would you or would you not rejoin the TPP, yes or no? I would not rejoin the TTP as it was initially put forward. Well, folks, I eliminate one tax loophole out of a trillion six hundred billion worth. For, a, a trillion four hundred billion worth. You want to be part of this campaign? Pick up your phones. Pick up your phones. Now. Send a text to the word United to the number 30330. 30. 330. Or 303330. Or B-O-O. You got it. Four more years of Donald Trump will go down as an aberration. 
Hard to overcome the damage he's done, but we can overcome it. Eight more years of Donald Trump will change America in a fundamental way. The America we know will no longer exist. You got more questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black.